Hi right, guys, welcome back to some more of Black Myth Wukong. We're about to go up here, we're in chapter 5, finally, you know, we've done everything. You know, we've been, we've been very good, we don't have much will though, that's the one thing we're actually lacking. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna follow, you know, the storyline here and try to see where, where it's gonna take us. You know, um, well, one thing, like I said, it's kind of sucks how they don't have a map. It'd be nice to, like, have a map in this game, but... Okay. Some battles happen here. Let's do it. Ooh. Oh. Oh! Oh, not a new enemy. Oh, we talked to him. Okay. Relax, Rad, buddy. It can't be you. Who the hell are you? I thought you were one of them. Well, what happened to me? The vanguard of the Bull King is relieved you're unharmed. <laughs> well, consider yourself lucky. I knew of you long ago. The thing you seek, the king must know about it. <laughs> Out of nowhere, the whole mountain was infested with those stinking corpses. Some coffin carts blocked all the passes up, burning everything in their path. You seem clever. How about you find a way to destroy them, eh? They're called Five Element Carts, okay. an evil and powerful invention of the King's son. I'm afraid they're not only guarding the passes. Trust me, there's more to it. Got to hold my ground at the entrance for a while. Can't imagine the chaos without me. They're called Five Element... I'm afraid they're not only trust me. Got to hold my ground at the entrance for a while. Alright, bro's done talking. Let's get this done with. Got five carts he's saying we have to take on. Let's move this. Is there a chest down there too? Oh, there is. There's two. Let's get these things here.
Now we gotta make sure we kinda do everything in here too. Before we go for the end game. Golden tree. So that's a nice upgrade item. So let's go to our journal here. So we got a couple of things here. Got a lot of enemies. I should try to watch this more earlier because... Lava Revenant, a high and mighty and the finest attire, yet a twist of fate from life to mire. The underworld trials are so mere and lure. They know it all when they see your core. The rhyming here, right? In the kingdom of pure joy, there dwelled the high official from the lineage of glory. His father, a beacon of honor and privilege, has passed recently, not long after the official himself met sudden death. His soul bewildered himself itself in the depths of the underworld surrounded by terrifying sights he came to halt and before colossus stone's gate and peer inside there he saw a charred corpse on their knees twisted and shrunken from the relentless flames their face erased under chains and shackles among them one scorched figure struggled to rise shouting zarong my son it's me your father Whether the official childhood name resonated with truth. He hastily asked, Father, why are you here? I held so many rituals made for your passage. The charred spirits replied, they're futile. Virtues and life bring it, bring fortune in the next, but wrongdoing must pay now. My misdeed caused many deaths, and Yama condoned me to ceaseless death, to burn eternally. My son, do not follow my path. Then give more charred spirits emerge his ancestor, going back to his great-great-grandfather, all echoing the same warning. Suddenly a chilling wind blew and stone gate slammed shut. The official awoke back among the living for a time. He lived modestly, yet hardship of simplicity soon wore him down, convincing himself that it was nothing more than a dream. He slipped back into lovish ways. Neath fury speaks in robes so fine, guarding jade doors with gold radiant shine. Tangled in the world gains all splendored fades like dust and wanes. It wanes. Through the ages, those seeking rain from the platinum fin often presented gifts and tribes. As a chief guard in Rakshasi's court, the bull surgeon was in charge of collecting these offerings. The quality of the tribute greatly affected the well being of the mountains. Yogis throughout the year thus. The surgeon always schemed, influence, and tributes towards his own preferences. One day, leaning on the doorframe, sighing deeply, he noticed the smoke from his nose resembled his beloved chicken, devised a plan. He told all the tribute barriers that the shape of the smoke rising from the flaming mountain at dusk indicated the plantain fan desired as offering, believing this to be divine. Sign. The people, despite their hardship, started contributing exactly as the smoke suggested. The bow sergeant received many of his desired items and revealed in contented life. However, over time, this led to growing discontent among the villager towards the Rakshashis in her reigns. One lady, one day, the lady of Rakshashi had to leave for lecture by Lord Lao in the celestial courts. Unable to bring rain for the people, the panic, the bull sergeant confessed his wrongdoing and begged for her forgiveness. It turned out she never required any tribute. She naturally provided rain for the villagers through the re seasons of planting and growing. The whole tribute scheme was a fabrication. Lady Raksasha didn't punch the bull sergeant but ordered him to return the goods and tell the truth to the villagers. But they refused to take their offerings. Instead, they urged the sergeant to convince the platin fan for more rain. Caught between the villagers and the lady, the sergeant ended up berated by both sides. The bull scorned by all. Okay. And now the final one, right? Yeah. Bull soldier. Strong body, skilled in fight, shield, spear of Lorsa's sight, heart ablaze with fervent zeal, love, disdain, the pain he feels. Three centuries ago, when Bull King still graced the celestial court, the Red Bull practiced under Guyana. Peace reigned over flaming mountains. One day, Bishua 
beast promoted to a captain among the bull soldiers. The captain moved in the night duty chambers of the Raksasa Palace to accommodate his increased responsibility. He occupied the adorning room for rest in main west chambers for hosting guests. One morning he found the guest room had been tidily arranged overnight, dustless furniture, washed fruits on plates, and freshly brewed tea. Preplexed, he thought the fury of celestial maidens serving the lady in the fox maidens attending the do king's daughters, recalling how the other guards often teased him for being more handsome than the rest. Now as a new captain, he couldn't help but feel elated. Surely there must be a secret admirer. For over a month, the mystery, mysterious, kind-hearted maiden visited nightly, yet never revealed herself. Growing impatient, the captain resolved to wait outside the chamber one night. Around the fourth watch, he heard heavy steps, quite unlike the gentle maiden, furred of or fox. Regardless, he lunged at the figure as soon as the door secured a tight hold on it. The figure was muscular and sturdy, too large for his arm. Muffled grunts followed, and voices of the bull sergeant emerged. I like things tidy, and your room is always messy. That's why I'd clean it up after night duty. You don't have to act so grateful. Okay. Now. Now we got more. Look at all this, guy. We got a lot of... Uh... Oh, what is this? Did we see some kind of boss or something? Oh. Um... Uh, I guess we'll encounter it later, right? Or maybe it's him. Maybe he's going to fight us after. You know, we, we've had more than enough. These guys are playing games with us, right? Like... So we don't go down. So we came this way. Wait, where do we go? Yo, bull sergeant. Um. Broski, I don't even know. Oh, maybe this way? Okay, let me <laughs> let me rest up back here because I don't know where we're supposed to be going. What am I missing? I don't think we should be seeing any enemies there. Seems like the battle has toned down. But I'm not seeing any pathway. Oh, there he is. Maybe he creates a pathway. You move from over here to over here. All right, buddy. Can we can we chat here? You and I can we have a little bit of chat? <laughs> Out of nowhere, the whole mountain was infested with those stinking corpses. Some coffin carts blocked all the passes up. Burning everything in their path. You seem clever. How about you find a way to destroy them, eh? They're called Five Element Carts. An evil and powerful invention of the King's Son. <laughs> I'm afraid they're not only guarding the passes. Trust me, there's more to it. Got to hold my ground at the entrance for a while. Can't imagine the chaos without me. They're called five. Okay, um. Am I missing something? Because I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, never mind. <laughs> up, up here we go. Would have thought.
Okay. I want to play like that. I guess this is the cards he was talking about. Oh, that's a boss. Kinda has a boss's health bar, but he's not really a boss. This is probably the easiest boss, one of the easiest boss we have in the whole game. <laughs> and we definitely got a save point here. Wait, hold on a second. Let's kind of go back and grab that. It's funny how I felt like. I guess they should give us more of these green things. I think each level we get more. We'll probably get eight, nine hundred here. Seven hundred twenty. Okay, they're not giving us as much as I I thought they would. This is Ashen Two, I'm guessing. Nope, camp of the season. So Ashen to be somewhere else. All right, we obviously want to go and check out these bosses. You glide the words. Five elemental cards, five cards aligned with element five. From their fusion, the fiery life does thrive. Beast heads roar as they swiftly, swiftly race. Fire wheels east and west. Path traced. At the flame mountain, Red Boy was about to celebrate his hundredth birthday. He was in the high spirits and asked the keepers, My birthday is coming. Can I go out and play for a while? The keeper replied, As your father instructed when you order me to watch over you, I must ensure you focus on your practice. You cannot go out at will, Red Boy argued. I have already mastered the sh sh Shamadi fire. Can't I take a break for a few days? As he spoke, he punched his nose, releasing a burst of flames. The keeper shook his head. You were taught the Samadhi fire so that you could use it to refine your inner core. Spitting fire carelessly such as dissipates your QI and is nothing more than a trivial trick. He continued, the liver tr corresponded to wood, which generates fire, and the heart corresponds to fire, which generates earth. The spleen corresponds to earth, which generates metal. The lungs correspond to metal which generates water the kidney corresponds to water which generates wood the five elements generate each other in continuous cycle with a samadhi fire you should use it to refine the energy of your five organs growing impatient red boy said enough i understand i'll go back to my practice on his birthday the bull king hosted a grand banquet in the in the mountains inviting many friends to celebrate red boy ordered some minions to bring out five small carts the minions arranged the carts according to the five elements gold wood water, fire, and earth. Red Boy approached them and, and recited an incarnation and spat out fire from his mouth, which, while thick smoke erupted from his nose, flames burst from his eyes and fire surged from five carts. After several bursts, the red flames blazed into the sky. The keeper was displeased, feeling the Red Boy was too playful and overly interested in trivial tricks. He feared the boy might waste his potential in the days to come. However, the Bull King was very pleased to him. Although Red Boy was not engaged in deep practice, he already understood how to employ his skills to create useful tools, which showed great in ingenuity. He immediately ordered the creation of the five larger war cards for his son. From then on, the five element became Red Boy's companion to his in his practicing with hundred years. Those cards imbued with some of the fire gained sentence and became formidable gews in the flaming mountain try and keep my mic a little bit away um i see the journal here so we got 74 of 86 lesser gew 38 46 19 okay so we're, we're good here in the yeah but there's gonna be definitely a 
new enemy yet. And he blows up. I don't know what kind of enemy they got here for us, but... Um... I don't know. Seek not with greed what life can give by harming others. How can one live? Evil deeds their judgment do. In the netherworld their fate they rue. In the kingdom of pure joy there dwelled a high official from a lineage of the glory. His father, a beacon honor and privilege, has passed recently. Not long after the official himself met a sudden death, his, his soul, bewildered, found itself in the depth of the world. Surrounded by terrifying sights, he came to a halt before a colossus stone gate and peered inside. There he saw a charred corpse on their knees, twisted and shrunken from the relentless flames, their face erased under chains and shackles. Among them, one scorched figure struggled to arise, shouting, Zarung, my son, it's me, your father. Oh. Better the official's childhood name resonated with the truth. He hastily asked, Father, why are you here? I held so many virtues made for your passage. The charred spirit replied, they're futile. Virtue in life being fortune in the next, but wrongdoing must be paid now. My misdeeds caused many deaths, and Yama condoned me to the ceaseless depths to burn eternally. My son, do not follow my path. Then five more charred spirits emerge, and ancestors going back to his great-great-grandfather, all echoing the same, earning suddenly a chilling wind blew, and the stone gate slammed shut. The official woke back among the living for a time he lived modestly yet the hardship of simplicity soon wore him down convincing himself that has nothing more than a dream he slipped back into his lavish race wait that's not it I swear I, I swear I thought we already read that one Snake, okay, worm practitioner, okay, we saw this, Revenant. Maybe it's just a combination. as a scrapper. Really playing with us here. Oh, shit. Oh, this guy's on something. Right, we got some new enemies here. Oh, this is a king. Time gallops like a horse so fair here and there, seeming without care. Past fools like water in its courses. Dream buried deep within remorses. Remorse. The gate of the city and justice are guarded by char faces. Unlike souls, reapers, they yelled blades of karmic flames. Burning lost souls to ash, hence their perpetually smoked visages. One day, two charfaces at the gate caught a soul trying to sneak out. As one raised his flaming blade to strike, the desperate soul plead, Spare me, kind sir. Should I revive or burn ten houses of paper ingots in your honor? The other charface restrained his companion and proposed, Let's have a wager then. If you win, you go free. If you lose, blame your own luck. The soul asked, what would be the wager? He answered, if half a soul entering this city today wish to return to life like you, you win. 
With that, he handed over a paper and ink and uh, tasked the soul with the recording names, earthly obsession, and of those nearly deceased. As the gate closed for the day, the soul hurried to the charfaces and declared, I won, I won indeed. The charface presented a list of great masters who found that it matched perfectly in both numbers and names, and even included details of the deceased themselves that revealed satisfied. The Grand Master held the soul in high regard, generously rewarded him, and said, I know you seek to leave the city, but the gates are shut for today. Perhaps you should come again tomorrow. Months passed with the soul returning daily, and each day a similar battle was made. Over time, the soul ceased longing for a return to life and took up a role as a scribe under the Grand Master. Alas, it makes one wonder, should we look ahead and accept whatever future awaits us, or stay committed to study fest goals? Perhaps there's no right answer. What matters is the willingness to make your choice. Lava bat and flames that leap and kiss the sky down to earth, their fiery fly. Forged in flame, they rise once more, braving trials for powers pure. Flaming mountains harbored numerous caves, yet most were filled with flowing lava. Unfit in dwelling or practice, finding a cool ca cavern, cavern was a prized rarity. However, as adept flyers in the mountain, the lesser vacuums often discovered comfortable caves on sheer cliffs. Unfortunately, the larger gills followed suit and claimed these caves for themselves. Angered by constant displacement, the bats were resolved in moving to Furnace Valley, a place towering firefalls and rivers and molten rocks. No other gills would dare to venture there. All advised them to leave. The bats, un undeterred, dismissed the warning and retorted, We can never secure a comfortable hideout when you are around. That's why we've chosen the most dangerous treacherous place in our spiritual place here it's a matter of life or death we're we're done being victims and pushed around fortune favors their their re resolve and awards their pushed around fortune favors their their resolve and rewarded their practice though the scorching lava burnt them time again it forged their fiery skins and dodging the spewing magma honed their ability alas no path is set in life while well trodden roads may offer smoother travel, striking out a new invite trials and desertion, yet the fruits of such journey are unlikely gratifying. Fair enough. And oh, we got a big boy here, big boy, big boy, big boy. <laughs> That has a lava. Oh, this guy really nuked this shit. Yeah, this ain't looking good, Sherlock. There was a path that way and this way. The question is, what path do we go? I at least want to kill this guy here, because I don't like him. Come on, boy. This way. Maybe there's no path here. Oh, there's, there's a meditate. We found our first meditate, at least. Unless we missed one, but I don't, I don't think we did. I don't think we did. These maps are like pretty big. I think I still think the winter one was like probably the biggest. Like the whole pagoda prison and then like the general area was pretty large. Still probably I feel like the most we spent on there, but the last one was pretty big too, right? It wasn't... We still had some big areas to it, but... So I wonder how large this one's gonna be.
Well, like the thing is, if we check here, four. Oh, we still have to go back. So, oh, this might not be that big because there's only four meditation spots, right? Um. Well, New West only had five, and that was probably the, the largest one. And the Webbed Hollow had six. And Yellowwind Ridge had six, too. So I don't think that really matters. Or at least... I don't think that's, that's huge. I wish we had, like, bow and arrows from range to kind of fire at some of these guys. Like... Oh. Sit down, boy. I feel like there should be like eventually a boss or something coming up. They, the game usually throws fine gold thread. Mind core. Oh, nice. We can upgrade some of our stats a little bit. Fire, we have something here. I don't think this is a pill. Mountain Lingai Seed. What in the world is? Is that? Um, oh. Double case for the next pluck many are for short duration. Oh, that's that's actually pretty good. Uh, if, if we we do ha we have a surround like at the same time I'm not hundred percent sure but we'll we'll tell like that's because I don't think we'd have the stamina for that to be honest. was that bad. I know we know they have explosions, but that bad was not what I was anticipating here. Yep. Oh, we are headed the right path, right? Yeah. Is there a path over there? Like, can we just kind of hop off over there? Or... Oh. So we do kind of loop around and come down this path. That's, that's what it looks like. We don't have much heal, so if we run into a boss, we need to be careful. Oh, we still have our spells and stuff, so I think, I think it should be okay. Oh, we do gotta save, so that's fine. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, they all gotta play, eh?
sit down, bro. Oh, he blew him up. At least, like, the save points in this one aren't too, too far apart, so... They've been pretty quick, to be honest, coming around. I feel like there's a boss right here, that's why. Yeah, this is definitely a boss. You know why? I think this, because... Because that's an open area. Never mind. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I definitely need Father of the Stones, brother. I didn't really have to use anything. I would have taken his ass out either way. Wasn't much of a fight, my man. It wasn't much of a battle. Let's just go and kind of restock up and everything here anyways. Alright, let's save. Whew. Oh, Trevor Spirit. Oh, we had his spirit too. The Father of the Stones. Nice thing, like if we ever forget, the game don't forget. <laughs> oh, epic. Um, watch demo. What does he do? Oh, okay, I guess that's not like a huge thing. One of the Yugai chiefs, a mountain a deity, ga grand a envy, not an anger doesn't stand within the grasp, a skeleton light, a romance lost in a distant land. One day, a tattered cloth girl stumbled into the valley of the Yellow Wind Ridge, covered in wounds. She sought refuge in a cave belonging to a rock you. After noticing some living goods inside, when the father of the stone discovered her presence, his initial intention was to expel her. However, upon witnessing her pitiable condition, he relented and granted her permission to rest for a while. To his surprise, the girl ingenuously utilized the wild fruits and game found in cave to prepare a delicate meal. The tantalizing aroma tempted the father of the stones, leading him to consider, reconsider his decision and allow her to stay and continue cooking. From that point forward, the stone deity would regularly procure ingredients while the girl skillfully transformed them into delicious dishes. Thus, the gyu and the girl coexisted harmonically for a span of two years. During the routine day of washing clothes by the river, the girl unexpectedly encountered a woodcutter from her village. Overwhelmed with emotion upon seeing the familiar face, she couldn't contain her tears upon returning to the cave. Through her sobs, she revealed the horring truth that she had fleed from her abusive parents, who planned to force her into marriage with a foolish suitor to exchange for dowry. The girl now lived in constant fear of being captured and forcefully taken back to her press of home. As it passed the following day at noon, a group of villagers arrived at the valley. The girl's parents, afraid of the Yugai, desperately pleaded at the entrance of the cave. Thus, Despite their pleas, the determined girl refused to comply with their demands. Frustrated and enraged, her parents resorted to cursing her. However, their virtual subsided momentarily when the father of the stones emerged from the cave and bellowed a commanded shout, causing the village to retreat in fear. Yet, as soon as the stone dead returned inside, the villagers resumed their insult, persistently tormenting the girl. The father stone decided to guard the entrance, but the girl's parents threatened to bring a to subdue the stone goo if their daughter was not returned. 
Fearing that her presence would bring farther trouble to the stone gu, the girl made the difficult decision to quietly leave their cave during the night. Tragically, she fell off a cliff and lost her life. The following day, the stone gu discovered a lifeless body, already cold and devoted of any signs of life. Upon hearing about the Lady Raksasa of the Flaming Mountain in her reputed power and compassionate nature, the stone deity made a difficult journey, carrying the girl's lifeless body to seek help. However, the Lady Raksasa, with her deep understanding of life and death, examined the girl's body and came to some conclusion she expressed that attempting to revive her would be futile even if she were forcibly brought back to life she would be nothing more than a soulless shell devoid of the essence that made her who she was unwilling to give up the stone that she waited on the mountain path of the flaming uh, mountains every day with the girl's body hoping to gain Raksasa sympathy even as the girl's flesh turned to bones he did not abandon his hope he was a nice guy you know now i feel bad <laughs> this game like they make us feel bad for these people too sometimes, you know? It's, man, I don't know what to say. He seemed like seemed like a cool dude, you know. He seemed like a cool dude. Um So this path is so far it's been pretty straightforward. There's been no two different ways we can go. Which is fine. Which is fine. Let's be careful. the best abilities we have you know oh that was a lot okay so some of these things they're oh never mind that guy is he's old news you were able to do that huh? give you the damn permission and the audacity oh what's down here All they had down. Oh, whoa! This is like one of the healing upgrading stuff. Yeah. Perfecto. Here's something. I hear something for sure. Come <laughs> on. 
finished. Better give us something good in here. Outer. Okay, first off, I need to change something here. Let's change this for... What's fire? Oh, I know. <laughs> Let's definitely take this with us. Because we're in the fireplace, so I suspect a large gold of... Okay. Instance resets cooldown for all. Holy shit. Shit. I know what this means. This, this is, this, this is a game changer. This is a game changer. You know what I gotta do? Um, yeah. Okay. Next time we go back, I'm gonna go back to the village because the one guy in that little village area. He always, uh, he always gives us some of these things and wait, well, where am I supposed to go then? Fucking hell, am I, <laughs> am I back to being lost here? Okay, if we go down this way. Right? Where, where am I supposed to go if not this way? Ah. Um. Any path in here? No? Makes absolutely no sense then. Maybe it was this way. Maybe there is a door here that I didn't know. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there indeed was a door here, Sherlock's. And where the fuck is this cart? Oh shit. Shit, he just... He's nuking me. Someone needs help! Oh shit, we gotta get down there. Lady that needs help down there. I'm gonna assume this... Oh no, oh, this one, but there is something here. Oh, here the a lady needs help. Amber prayer beads. Oh, moderately increases speed of building points. We did what we had to do there. Oh man. Charface spirit. 
Don't judge us for. Oh my god, this guy, man. A bit of poison on us. Yeah, we came from this way, right? We did. Yeah, we did. Oh shit! Buddha's head is here too. Just gonna make sure we don't miss anything. The girl who needed help. Somebody help! Where are you? Where do you need help from, lady? a boss you know this help help me young monster <sighs> the hell i thought that was a check but it's you kind monkey oh, help me help me please things went south in the mountain and i barely escaped but on my way down guys captured me i've been kept here for three days but now my luck has returned. My savior appeared here right in front of me. Should you extend your mercy to oh, save my family? Oh, someone is here. I don't think we're ready for this uh, one. I'll repay your kindness at any cost. Master got it right. The last story comes out to us. Oh, Sam. Look, this is fire. Please, Sam. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, whoa, 
Guy over. These guys aren't too bad. Was a odd battle, but no. Got you, Fox. Oh, quite the charmer, aren't you, boy? But these eyes have seen prettier disguises. Yao Guai, your true face, out with it. If a single lie slips, my rake shall strike true. <laughs> that was so close. Thank you for saving me. I am the Bull King's daughter, Ping Ping. Oh, nonsense! The Bull has no daughter. Dare to fool me, scoundrel! I I know who you are. My mother is Princess Fairfox. You killed her. Oh. <laughs> there you go. After my mother died, I've been living with my father. His wife, Princess Rikshasi, took me in as her own. Later, 
brother came back from Bodhisattva Guan Yin, and we reunited. We had some peaceful days. My brother was kind to me and to our parents. But somehow, not long ago, he suddenly changed. He secretly summoned his old troops for a coup, imprisoned father, kept mother under strict watch. I... I had nowhere else to turn. I had to go for help. But barely after leaving the place, his minions fell upon me. <laughs> the Bull King's might is known. Even together, Wukong and I couldn't rival him. Rakshasi's plantain fan is also formidable. And you want me to believe that they were subdued by a kid? Subdued by their son? <sighs> Who else could make them put their guard down? Really, with soft hearts, they could never harm him. You idiot! This fox is fooling you! Look at this place! Only my brother's Samadhi fire could wreak such havoc! Oh no! My father is dying! Please, kind monkey, help me and my family! A perilous place this is. Keep this cicada safe with you. It'll come in handy. That's a voice I know well. I'll go ahead and take a look. Oh. That's pretty nice. I can just float away. No time to lose now. Follow me. This way. Yeah, the thing is, the game doesn't let us do that, okay? You do not understand this woman. We're jumping up and down thinking we can do the same thing, but no, we cannot. There's a reason why we have to follow that path. Let's just make sure we aren't missing anything here, any kind of nice loop. We indeed or not. Yeah. Where are we now? Passion Pass 2, okay. That's pretty far away from the first one. As I said, we're gonna go back here because you know we gotta collect some things. Scroll gift by Chen Long that leads to a secluded Chunko retreat hidden in a mountain villages, resting high among the pine. This is a abode of the mortals. Feel free to visit often. We also get like Every little while. Oh shit, we didn't check if there was any. I don't think we have money to get there. Wait, how much do we have? I think we got quite a bit actually. 47k. Uh, until then, let's kind of travel back a little bit. Go here. I noticed like once, like not all the places, but some of the places in the area, they. They sell different loot, so we need to start shopping a little more. We also put like a thing where we get like extra XP. And store. Oh nope, we caught everything here. Let's go back and see if this guy will talk to us. At least we can tell him we killed one. Maybe he'll have a new dialogue. Actually, we killed two of them. So two carts already. He said there's five, right? So we, we did end two of them. I tolerate no evil under my nose. Neither does my axe. Oh. Bring me more revenants so I can chop them up. Heed my words. The red boy's carts are nothing more than a distraction. Thinks he can outwit me. <laughs> bah! That brat! <sighs> Make haste and head up the mountain. We must figure out what he is planning. <clears throat> they are called five elements. Oh, well. The entrance is secured for now. 
The king once told me. Oh, sure. The king once told me that each of the five cards has its own unique nature. The king once told me that each of the five. I'm guessing Red Boy might be the girl's brother. And yeah, he's the one who started this, so he might be end end boss. I yeah, definitely end boss. Because he's the one who started all this and present Rakshasha and the father. So yeah, he is. Would not make sense if he was the final boss here. Travel to here. I Amber. Can definitely check this area out. I think we purchased everything here. I think it'll be like in the next next kind of section. But I just want to check it out. Store, 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 store. Anything new. Travel to this, the last place here. Ashen Pass to... Before we go anywhere, we probably have some journals to look at. Quick as fire, fast as wind. Fear, spirit, life, he stakes. Madness flaunts the wind he makes. Nostrils flare with a smoky breath. Bow exclaims with flames of death. Smoke ascends, the wind does chase. Fire spreads with wind's embrace. Loyalty worth a thousand gold. Together strong, their bond unfolds. In bygone days, there were two refins wandering the city, always wandering, spending their nights beneath the same section of the city wall, thus forming a close bond. With attachment or concerns, they acted recklessly without restraint. One time during their robbery of a wealthy young master, they accidentally killed him, leading the, to their joint sentencing to death by beheading. The execution secluded in the autumn. So scheduled in the autumn well that makes sense while pressure one ruffian said to the other we've had a carefree life and we must die so be it it's a pity we won't be able to enjoy ourselves together anymore the other ruffian replied if you wish to continue our fun together it's not possible i'm a descendant of the falling head clan he possessed some tricks he then whispered a set of skills into his companion's ear come autumn and the two were beheaded the public square as the executioner sprayed wine and swung his blade their heads fell to the ground but suddenly flew up into the air much to the astonishment and cheers of the onlooker, afterwards the two heads flew into the mountains and began Yogwais. Became Yogwais. One named Quick as Fire, the other named Fast as Wind. Well, they weren't quick enough when we dealt with them, right? Kind of a weird story, but okay. I feel bad for them at all. Okay, nothing is here. We 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 washed everything out. Um, like part of me is like wondering at this stage, like. Secrets did Master Pig whisper to you just now? I've let go of our blood feud, but he still holds so much hostility. My brother's minions are everywhere. Stay close to me, kind monkey. Brother and I used to play around there. The Valiant Six had their ways of amusing us. What fun we had together. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this one off here. Oh, we'll have a chat afterwards and follow this cat. That looks odd to me, but I think like I think it'll be okay. I think she's I think she's okay. Maybe she has an alternative move. I don't know actually. I don't know. One thing I like about this game is every time you come into the start and you come into this, like it the background changes to what chapter you're on. So since we're in the fire chapter, like Ashen Pass Two Flaming, it says right up there. I guess it's kind of telling us to continue your journey. Kind of has a background to that. That's pretty. It's pretty neat. I've never checked this music video out. I see. Oh, these are like the. Ah, uh, this is like the stories. So if you want to rewatch them, we can go rewatch them. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we're well, on this one here. Thank you guys for watching. I see you guys in the next one.